What's going on everyone? My name is Mike. This is our shed and today we're going to be doing some basic wiring on the inside of it. Alright everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be covering some basic electrical or electrical 101. Before I get started, if you're new here, please go down and hit that red subscribe button and give us a thumbs up for the great content. We're going to try to do some more of these videos in the very near future. Uh, to give you an overview, we're standing inside of a 12 by 20 wood frame shed with a metal exterior. Uh, on today's video, we're going to be wiring the outlets on the inside and two outlets on the very outside, uh, which we'll go over all of that in detail as to how to go about it. So uh, let's first start off with the tools that we're going to need to get this project done. got our tools and material together. Uh, we now want to go ahead and start the very basic procedures that anybody needs to follow before doing any kind of electrical work whatsoever. Uh, the goal here is not to be scared of working on it, but to respect it and be able to work with it properly. So first step we're going to do is we're going to take our tick tester right here and we're going to go to the device or outlet or whatever piece of equipment we're going to be working on and we're going to test it to see uh, if it's hot or if it's uh, de-energized. So in this case, our wire is hot. We are now gonna go over to the small breaker box that I have mounted in the shed and look for the properly marked breaker. Uh, and it's gonna be marked outlets. We're gonna shut that off. And now we're gonna go over to the wire again with the same exact tester that we've already verified it works because it told us it was hot. And we're gonna test it again to see the status of it now. And in this case, it is showing that it is de-energized. So, all right, now that we have followed the three basic steps before we start any project, let's go ahead and get set up and take care of this first outlet that I have sitting right here. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this 12-2 Romex and we're gonna straighten it out and then push whatever excess we can to the back and what this will do is this will give us um, some extra wire in case we uh, ever need to come back and trim a piece for whatever reason or uh, do any kind of work in the, in, the, in the future. These boxes are deep enough even with the outlet. It's got plenty of room to store any extra wire, excess wire back there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our razor blade here. And we are going to pick a spot on the flat side of this wire. And I'm just going to run that razor blade down. Alright, so now that we've got the Romex installation, the, the yellow part, pulled off of these wires, we've got two sets of wires. One set is going to feed the outlet from the source, and then the other set is going to leave the outlet, going to the next outlet to go ahead and feed that one. So we're going to go in the outlet, out of the outlet, with these two wires right here. Let's get our grounds separated. All right, and then we're gonna get our neutrals, which is gonna be your white separated, and then your black. What we're gonna do is we're gonna strip the ends of our uh, hots and our neutral, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna tie these grounds together. Real easy with our beautiful Klein strippers. Klein, if you're listening, um, I could use more Klein tools. If uh, somebody else is listening, I could use your tools too. I'm not picky. Um, we want to strip these back far enough, which I did not do, um, that we can make a little loop. And in these pliers, you'll see these holes up here. Uh, I use those. Just take it, stick it inside the hole, twist it over. Got one, two, three. And four. All right, so after we've twisted our grounds together, we have uh, now one, one ground, two hots, and two neutrals. We are going to take our outlet, and we're also going to take that 10 and one that I showed you earlier, our little screwdriver here. All right, and we're going to put these wires onto this outlet. Um, white is always going to go with silver. 
black is always going to go with gold and ground no matter what you're doing or where you're at ground is always going to go with the green we're going to take our first neutral here we're going to twist these little hooks around so that they will tighten with the screwing process We're going to take a ground, make a little loop out of that. All right, now once all your uh, wires have been made up and your uh, outlet has been successfully uh, tightened down all the screws, you can start it into the box here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our impact driver with the Phillips head. And we're just going to run... Run that right in place here. Straighten it out as we go. Okay. Now we can go back to our 10 in one and we're going to flip it over to get our small flathead attachment. And we're going to take our plate and just run it right on there. We have now got one completed outlet. Okay, so I've done a little bit of uh, prep before we moved on to the very next outlet, which was uh, perfectly placed because the next one in line is gonna be our first outlet on the exterior wall. And uh, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this auger bit right here in the drill and using the mark I've already made, I'm gonna drill through the wood and see if I can get through this metal exterior right here. So uh, we're through, and uh, now we can go back and take these pieces of Romex here and just fit them right out our beautifully made hole.
All right, guys, so we completed uh, all the outlets. We're going to take a little tour of uh, inside and outside of the shed and just show you um, exactly everything that I did since we didn't film it all. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll roll on out of here. So there's our outlet number one. I'll take a step back so you can get a very good idea of where it's placed. So there is the side of our shed. And um, eventually what we're going to do is build a lean-to off of it coming uh, the direction towards the camera so that'll that'll be under a dry area let's walk inside here and we'll get a look at the outlets I placed inside here so boom we got number one we've already kind of established that as a temporary uh, battery charger station slash um, chop saw station slash uh, air compressor station so uh, pretty much we just we go right to there whenever we need something hooked up. So we got one as soon as you walk into the right There's our uh, breaker box You've got two right here on this wall And if we can look up There is one get out of this light One right here up in the ceiling in case I ever want to do some sort of retractable um, Cord or, or some sort of system like that or Maybe I come up with some other reason later on. That's just an extra outlet that we threw in there because of the, the wire we had left over. So this will be outlet number uh, four. I'm sorry, no, outlet number five. And then outlet number six. So th those are equally spaced to the left and right. And then same thing back here. Equally spaced left and right. Uh, you might ask why there is no outlet on this very back wall. And I've covered that in a earlier video. But the reason for that is we're going to take that back wall and we're going to build uh, shelving on it so that we can move some storage over here. This is going to be a storage shed. So instead of packing everything um, horizontally on the floor on to the left and to the right wall, we're just going to pack everything from the bottom up on this back wall here. So, um, so what are we at? Six outlets. One, two, three, four. I'm sorry, five outlets. And... There's the first one we poke through the wall right there, which we just looked at on the other side. And then here's the other one, which I've still got to throw a staple in. Uh, that's the one that we did the time lapse of. So that is all the outlets. And if you've noticed behind me, we've got the lighting up too. Those are pretty basic and simple. Those were just um, light boxes that I put together uh, with a what they call like an attic kit. It's all plastic. And uh, I went and got some LED bulbs. I think they were like a... 60 watt equivalent. So I put three of them in here. Whole lot less money than running the shop lights um, for a storage shed. Those are perfect. And uh, I'm really glad we went that direction. All right, folks. Well, that's it for today. Thank you guys for coming by to join us at uh, the Fighting Knives. Um, again, this uh, channel is going to be full of random things, uh, little projects we got working on the tractor, uh, planting grass, numerous things that we've covered so far. I've got another tool review that I'm going to do here. Uh, on our Hitachi nail gun. So uh, please come back and join us and uh, please tell your friends. Again, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and give this channel a thumbs up. Uh, we really do appreciate it. Follow us on all the social medias and uh, we hope to see you guys again. Thank you all for joining us. Have a good night. I'm hungry, so I'm going to go get me some dinner. Take care.